It is the 13th of the 8th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. I'm going to start uh, Scott.net tonight. Hundreds of birds found dead in Oklahoma. Walmart parking lot. A broken arrow. It's a bit of a myster mystery as hundreds of birds were found dead yesterday in the Oklahoma town of Broken Arrow. Uh, officials speculate lightning and thunder scared the birds out of the trees, causing them to either fly or be blown back into the trees and buildings. Most of the birds were found near the, a local Walmart. Experts are also speculating the birds were soaked with rain. They died from hypothermia in the midst of the hottest summer we've had on record. Mm. In Oklahoma, hypothermia. Nice. Uh, three Atlantic tropical storms in the making. Three systems are brewing in the Atlantic with decent potential of becoming tropical storms over the weekend, well, the National Hurricane Center said on Friday. Out of Japan, heat wave kills four, sends 900 to the hospital. Now, you got to remember, more than two-thirds of Japan's nuclear reactors are offline five months after the March 11th earthquake and tsunami sparked the world's Worst nuclear accident since Chernobyl 25 years ago at the Fukushima Daiichi plant. Uh, one of the understatements of the century, for sure. And uh, time will only tell just how bad Fukushima really is. And it's really, really bad. Really bad. St. Joe County, Michigan. U.S. mysterious fire completely destroyed an entire power substation. Now, the engineers for the Midwest Energy Cooperative said they've never seen anything like this. A mysterious fire destroyed an entire power substation and left 1,200 customers in White Pigeon and uh, Constantine in the dark m for much of Monday evening. They have been able to backfeed service to restore power, but it may take them a while to rebuild the substation, which was totally flattened. The cooperative's Terry Ruthenberger says there was so much damage that they never may be able to tell what destroyed it. They will be evaluating the situation and then deciding how to proceed with repairs. So they have no idea what causes substation just gone. New Zealand braces for a snowstorm for the record books. Snow and ice could last all week. Canterbury is bracing for what could be a snowstorm for the record books. Forecasters warn a major storm is about to be unleashed across much of the country. Frigid Antarctic air has left the Ross Ice Shelf and is heading for the South Island. And uh, you are in the midst of winter, and here it comes, here it comes. And U.S. undersea fiber optic lines and robots will help monitor Oregon quakes. Um... And they're just keeping track of the San Andreas fault line and uh, all the... What, do we just have a big uh, volcano erupt down off there? And J Japan, Japan tsunami broke off Antarctic icebergs twice the size of Manhattan. And I've covered this story on that before. 6.0 magnitude earthquake hits the Philippine island. No damage reported. the Cleveland Volcano. Uh, and over on the RSOE today, let's see, we got um, forest fire in Arizona, um, Government Mountain or Beale. Uh, they're saying that this, the smoke's coming through and it's um, several hundred firefighters and Forest fire in uh, the Black Hills of South Dakota, they're saying it's caused by lightning and they've already lost uh, one firefighter and uh, one of their fire trucks was melted and that's going on. Um, another forest fire in Syria on the Turkey-Syria border. Now, um, Turkish Syria have, the they have some political turmoil going on right now, obviously. And um, what they used to work together on these border forest fires, uh, they're not anymore. So all the Turkish uh, firefighters are lined up on the Turkish side of the border waiting for the fire to reach Turkey. And none of the Syrians are showing up to, to fight this fire for obvious reasons. Um, pretty scary situation, actually. 
flash floods in Pakistan against torrential rains for days at a time and uh, here we go again and flash floods in India and in Jammu or Kashmir area and they're having some torrential downpours and uh, I guess a kid got swept off a motorcycle and, and was killed down a river uh, heat wave in Spain, of course the heat wave in Japan and um, all the other little things going on right now. Not a lot really new happening tonight, so I'm going to keep it short. Uh, Friday night, whew, fair night here at the Iowa State Fair with all the political madness. And uh, yeah, I just got off work at the liquor store. Interesting. Anyway, well, enjoy while you can, have fun while you can, and I'll see you when I can. Thanks.